I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't. Come, sister, come. In Jesus' name. Where is your husband? Huh? I don't have a husband. Why? We are not yet married. With who? Evangelist Masivi. Him? Yes. It's your husband. Is your husband? I'm not saying it's your husband. I'm asking. Is he your husband? No. So are you together in the ministry? Yes. Eh? Yes. And then. So you are doing. You are moving around with the tents. Yes. Eh? Yes, sir. You use tents to move around. Amen. Let me pray for you. So why you don't marry, eh? We came. Huh? It's one of the reasons to, to, we came to receive confirmation from the Lord about where to go from here, my team. And it's one of the main reasons we are here. So, you must carry on marrying. Eh? Amen, my team. Were you not married before? Never married. Huh? Never married. So, why you don't marry now? Men of God, on... Uh, before Easter, uh. our parents are supposed to go for negotiation. Hence, we came here to have uh, uh, to get clarification from the Lord and direction how we go about it. Can you hear this man? He said he want to hear first from God. He want to hear first from God if truly this is a right wife for for him. Is then the parents will carry on. People like this are few. Can you see when I go to her, I say, where is your husband? He says, no. I say, where is he? He says, I'm not married. She doesn't say, I've got someone, and yes. this is the man. And many people like her were supposed to have said, my husband is here. Many people like her here, he says, I know this is my husband. And I'll say, oh, you have not yet married. And uh, God say you will marry. You will marry you people. Thank Good you. <laughs> Thank you much. Then stand together. Come on. Come on. Jesus' name. This man is those people that if you can tell him uh, this is not your wife, he won't marry. This man. Because he knows where he comes from. You know, he doesn't want <laughs> Take it! The name of Jesus Christ. You are anointed from today. But if it was most of you because she's white in complexion, you ask white complexion. You don't ask God. And then white complexion tells you that we're married by him. He said, I don't care whether she's white or what. I want to marry this person. Uh, but the experiences also counts. Can you see when you move here, you move here, you move here, you find that, ah, not all people who are saying I'm ladies can be wives. That's what you can do. You will ask God first if truly this person. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching Charis TV. Here with my with our persons who decided to come and attend with us our Wednesday service and they'll be introducing themselves as ma'am. Can you please tell us your name? Tell us where you come from and introduce the gentleman next to you. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Angelique and the man next to me is Evangelist Masibi. We are coming from Colleen. Can you please tell me what is the problem that made you together to decide that you want to come here in Charis Missionary Church and attend the service with us? We wanted God to locate us. We wanted to come here to clarify whether we are meant for each other, whether we can go ahead with the marriage or not. We wanted God 
to give us clarification on that. And did you get what you wanted? Amen. We surely did. The, the man of God located us. He asked Evangelist Masibi, what is he waiting for? This is the, the woman for you. Amen. So can you please tell us the moment that when the man of God called you forward, what is the first thing that came into your heart and what did he say to you and how are you feeling about that? Yes, uh, he was uh, asking me what is that the same question that we are waiting for? Why am I not getting married? I said, I wanted to first to consult with God because the arrangement for the negotiation of the families were uh, on the way before Easter. Then we needed to consult God for it. Uh, remember, I said, uh, as the man of God was speaking, I said, I'm going to place a demand on this anointing on the man of God. And then really he located us and then he said, marry this woman. One other thing that he did uh, is that he said, you are moving around with tents. We said, yes, we are preaching. I'm an evangelist. He said, receive that anointing. You are anointed from today. And he said, marry this woman. Wow. Uh, I mean, in most cases, it doesn't happen. You go, somebody is there praying for people, prophesying on people. He doesn't come to you. And he said, it will never happen. Just when he was about to close, she told me that she was interceding to say, it will never be closed until the man of God locate us. And then she did locate her, and then it went via me, and then I was informed, you are anointed. It was like a bomb. Like I said, I'm from the northwest province, very far away from uh, Johannesburg, Tembisa. I drove from uh, 6 o'clock in the morning to come here. And if nothing didn't happen, I don't know how would I feel. But now I am fulfilled in Jesus' name. Man of God, before you do anything, consult God. Before you get married, consult God. Before planning, consult God. Amen. And my sister, what can you say to the viewers out there? What I can say to the viewers, God is the creator of heaven and earth. And he has authority over us. So before you take any actions, consult God, ask God for the way, ask him to give you direction. In Jesus' mighty name, we are blessed. We thank you so much for coming. I believe that you shall surely come back with your testimony. Tell us that God has done it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you.